I was going to record this on my camera, which would have kind of a higher quality, but my headset microphone is a million times better, and I think the audio quality matters a bit more when I'm doing an audio-based video. Yeah, we're trying a new series today. So... Today we're going to go over the first character I cosplayed on this channel, actually, Tatsumaki from One Punch Man. I'll try to make the videos in this series in the order that I cosplay them in, but honestly, I probably won't stick to that. Just fair warning. I'll be going through the character in great detail, so there will be some spoilers, but it will be at the towards the end, and I'll make sure that I warn you before the spoilers. Other than that, it's going to be just kind of like a character sheet. And at the very end of the video, I'll actually share the character sheet I made online while streaming on Twitch. It's not great. It's kind of funny. Either way, we're going to try this new thing. I will be making sure to mark every section so that you can skip to whatever part you want, if you want, and I will make sure to give you warning before the spoilers. First, we'll go over her names. Tatsumaki doesn't have very many nicknames, but she does go by the Terrible Tornado, the Tornado of Terror, and paired with her sister Fubuki, the Psychic Sisters. Next, description. Tatsumaki is only 5 feet tall or 150 centimeters for those of you that use metric. I think it's called metric. I don't use it. Her eyes are an emerald green that match her medium length hair which curls at the ends. I didn't curl my wig very good, but hers does curl more at the ends as well as her bangs. It's really cute. She wears a long sleeved long black dress that has four splits leading to four long slits so you can see her entire legs paired with a pair of either short black heels or pumps her birthday is unknown but despite being mistaken for a child most of the time because of her size her youthful face her bratty attitude Tatsumaki is actually 28 years old according to the One Punch Man wiki I've definitely heard rumor that she's 30 or older but I didn't really confirm that Personality-wise, she can be best described as moody, hot-headed, or bratty. She doesn't have respect for most people and even less for those that she deems incompetent. She is quick to be offended and hates being dismissed or ignored, which I can relate to, honestly. Nobody likes being ignored. <laughs> She's extremely arrogant and believes herself able to defeat literally anybody. Nobody's a match for her in her head. She's bad at socializing and finds it difficult to make friends, but she remains dutiful to the Hero Association and very protective of her little sister, Fubuki. Next, we're going to move on to the abilities. Her fighting style is described as a master psychic combatant, meaning that she uses psychic abilities over physical abilities, and all of her damage is done by, her, by the effects of her psychic abilities. Her powers have placed her in the rank 2 class S superhero position. Those abilities being psychokinesis are literally anything relating to it. According to everything I could find on the internet, she is actually the strongest esper on the planet. With many believing that she's actually the strongest person on the planet and unbeatable. At least in her prime. So here are a few things that her psychic abilities have allowed her to do. Stop a giant bombardment from a spaceship and then turn it back you know, and hit the spaceship. She can lift the entirety of Z City using her psychic abilities. She has been able to take giant monsters in the shows and crush them into balls, as well as take some of the most powerful dragon class monsters, you know, and twist them. Like, defeating them. <laughs> like, just literally twist them. She was able to lift the entire Monster Association headquarters out of the ground using her psychic abilities. I mean, and then, of course, you know, being able to do all those other things, she can, you know, lift giant boulders and hurl them. There's a big list of the different things that she can do using her psychic abilities, and I'll read those later. But that's just kind of like a short tidbit into everything that she can use her psychic abilities for. 
Head injury or brain damage could limit, destabilize, deem her powers unusable, or any Esper in this universe's powers unusable. So that's, like, I guess her weakness. A few of the non combative things that her psychokinesis allows her to do is fly or levitate. She can also um, telepathically communicate with her sister, Fubuki. And she is also capable of changing the TV channel, like a remote control. She's, she's the remote control. She's also known to be able to manipulate uh, Chai or life force, but that's not effective on anybody with a high willpower or high psychic ability like herself. She has a few moves that use her abilities as well, including Psychic Whirlwind, which creates circles of psychic energy that surround her and deflect harmlessly or harmfully, if she so desires, the psychic attacks. And so I turns them into a whirlwind. No? <laughs> She's also capable of using Psychic Binding, which basically makes it to where any other Esper's powers are mute. Those are her psychic abilities, but what about her physical abilities? Does she have any, or is it all in her head? She has immense speed and reflexes. She's capable of dodging energy attacks, which, you know, go at the speed of light, so I think that's pretty fast. She also has enhanced stamina and endurance, so she's quickly able to recover from any kind of overexertion or unconsciousness, and she's capable of defending from strong attacks and has really high resistance to attacks even when she's severely weakened including having an ability her psychic barriers that allows her to be completely safe from attack even while unconscious so next i'm going to go into the backstory and this is where the spoilers start so if you don't want spoilers for stuff that hasn't even happened in the show it's in the manga then turn back now or skip to the next section. Her backstory was revealed in chapter 135 of the manga during an unconscious flashback. We learn her dark backstory, and honestly, it's not unexpected, but sad. Her psychic abilities led to her being taken away from her family at the ripe old age of seven. Her adoptive parents were actually paid off by the scientists who wanted to study her extraordinary abilities. She was rewarded when she was complied with treats, candy, toys, what have you, but she was punished when she dis refused to comply or refused to use her powers by being locked in a dark cell. All of this while she wasn't even allowed to be let outside when asked, or at all as far as I understand. Eventually, years later when she was 10, there was a monster outbreak. She was in her that dark cell and the doctors, the scientists, decided to leave her behind. Her refusal to use her powers led them to believe that her numbers had leveled off, that she was not so extraordinary, and left her in the facility during the monster outbreak in favor of saving people who had greater potential than her dark. She even refused to defend herself during the outbreak. She had given herself up, ready to be eaten. I mean, she's only 10. It's not like she had a crazy mental fortitude at this point. That's when the superhero Blast came to the rescue, and he kind of questioned her. It's like, why would you not defend yourself? Why? And she, like, he sensed he was lying about her abilities. He, she, like, she was like pretending to not be able to do what she was capable of. She broke down about her past, crying, and feels that no one needs her. And that's when Blast kind of chided her, reminding her that she has a younger sister, Fubuki, who needs her. And that kind of woke something up in Tatsumaki. A few years later, there's actually an incident where um, her little sister's being bullied, too. Fubuki by school bullies. And when one kid is about to jump, then Tatsumaki, using her psychokinetic powers throws the kid and so all the other school kids are like oh my god this girl's fucking powerful i'm terrified start running into the schoolyard she's like nah lifts the school up just momentarily just just long enough to scare them and then turns to her sisters like fubuki you come to me now or you defend yourself you don't you don't let these you don't let these kids bully you and i respect her for it 
that's probably I think that's when she was 13 so three years after she broke broke out of the facility now we get to go over the fun facts so first fun fact the person who created one punch man O N E one O N E. I don't know if you're supposed to say O N E, O N E, O N E, or one. He also created Mob Psycho, and so knowing that Tatsumaki actually makes an appearance in Mob Psycho as an example of what an Esper is, and on that, O N E, one who created both shows, he did say that if a pair up. Mob Psycho, if Kageyama was to fight against the Psychic Sisters, that the Psychic Sisters would win. But I think that's a 2v1, and he did specify the Psychic Sisters, so I don't know if that means he could be, if, like, Tatsumaki could be Tornado by herself, but he also says if Kageyama got serious and gave it his all, the outcome would be potentially different. So I take that to mean that Mob Psycho is more powerful than Tornado. Well, only maybe. I know throughout the different pictures in the video I've been showing that it looks like she's not wearing underwear, right? But the illustrator of the manga, I hope I say his name right, I'm going to read it a couple more times, Yusuke Murata, the illustrator for One Punch Man, says that Tatsumaki is in fact wearing underwear. That same illustrator in an interview was asked what the ethnicities of the different characters were, and he says the Psychic Sisters, both Tatsumaki and Fubuki, would be French based on their fashion sense. We mentioned her social ineptitude earlier and her inability to make friends or her lack of ability to make friends, and that partially has to do with the fact that she doesn't have any hobbies even demonstrated on her day off in the anime, she finds it boring when she isn't working. She gets bored really easily because I assume she doesn't really have any hobbies, but they are unknown in general. On the wiki, I want to say her likes are listed as her sister and training in spacious areas, and her dislikes are listed as Male heroes who think they're strong and being seen and called a little girl. She doesn't like being called a little girl. She just really doesn't like being called a little girl. To end this video with, I thought it was really funny to read the list of feats that she has on her character profile. So I'm going to do that now. In feats, we have a couple of categories here. Strength. She's casually pinned Genos to a wall, pulled a meteor out of the atmosphere to kill the ancient king, which, fun fact, additional, it was actually just supposed to be a rock. If she could pull a meteor out of space, she would have been able to pull that ship out of space. So, she lifted part of a city, stopped Boros' attack on a city. Boros was that ship that was firing lots of missiles. Opening, she opened a big hole in the ground to temporarily stop Saitama, telekinetically stop shells from Boros's ship, telekinetically used shells in order to severely damage a spaceship, embedded people in concrete, easily squished the giant octopus, created a giant whirlwind of rocks using telekinesis, dragged the Monsters Association headquarters at least 1,500 meters up, easily lifted an entire school as a kid, easily killed a Kaiju-sized monster by flying through it, split a building apart by ramming Saitama through it, scales above Fubuki, who caused a 6-plus earthquake on the Shino scale with her psychic powers, and caused a magnitude knife earthquake. That's just strength. Okay. Next, we have speed. She reacted to the dark matter thieves bullet. I think any bullet reaction is pretty fast. Repelled the speed of sound sonic shuriken. Shuri shurikens? Shuriken? Shuriken? God, I'm bad at pronouncing words. Reacted to and telekinetically moved water jet. 
She could scale to flashy flash, also known as light speed flash, due to being superior to speed zero sound Sonic. Sonic fought on par with flashy flash. And then it gives you a mock. Mock 155390.91. That's too big. I don't care about that number. It got too big. She flew past Mach 35 speeds. Flew between multiple cities of the OPM map during her flight or her fight with Saitama. She reacted to catching Boros artillery shells with her telekinesis. And she pulled a meteor out of orbit. So now we have under feats. We're still going. So durability now. She survived a beating from the Monster Association. She shrugged off a gravity wave by a monster that caused 300 times its weight, like gravity. Got smashed into the ground while off guard by Pycos. Got smashed into a giant rock. Got hit multiple times by golden sperm. Tanked a wind-based attack, which creates a big hole in the building. Survived being crushed by his, her sister, Fubuki. Survived getting smashed into the ground while attached to Saitama. Tanked getting compressed in rock and casually exploded out of it. Tanked following skyscrapers with multi-city block-wide psychic barrier. She's tanked so much more than that, too. Anyways, skill. She became an S-Class hero, rank 2, obviously. She's killed 10,000 foes simultaneously. Not collectively. Simultaneously. 10,000. She is the strongest Esper on the planet. She killed a monster by pulling a meteor out of Earth's orbit. No, she did not. That's not true. I guess it is in the anime. I guess we gotta go. There's two cannons for that now. It was just a misunderstanding, though. Easily defeated Black Sperm. <laughs> defeated the ancient... Okay, wait. This is annoying that it's going to list this like this. But she defeated the Ancient King, Black Sperm, Evil Eye, Gyro Yuro, Psychos, and many other monsters through her hero career. Gyro Yuro is... Bad sight. Superior, superior to Genos, Fubuki, and most of the other heroes in the Hero Association... And according to ONE, Tatsumaki would have been able to defeat Golden Sperm at full health. Lastly, this isn't her feats. This is bonus. Just for fun. Weaknesses. Very arrogant. Highly distrustful of others. Every time she attacks, her defense weakens. A serious head injury can impede her powers. Strong-willed opponents can resist her chai manipulation slash life force manipulation. Her powers do not work on ghosts. And she's afraid of ghosts. She's obsessed with candy apples. Her sister's actually the one that's obsessed with candy apples. But she gets them for her. And she likes them too. Anyways, I'm going to go off screen for the rest of the video and show you my character sheet and then call it good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I can't believe you made it to the end. If you like this format, please let me know in the comments. All of the information in this video comes from my experience watching the anime, which my memory is not perfect. Um, random information from the internet like the One Punch Man wiki and the JustFandom.com, which as you know is not the best sources of information but I also did read a lot of the sources and go back and read a lot of the manga so that I could accurately kind of portray some of this stuff a little better and I know I left out a lot of information because I don't know if I I'm gonna do this that seriously yet we'll see Leave your favorite fact about Tatsumaki, Tornado, One Punch Man, what have you in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for supporting me by watching this video. Please like it, subscribe, and an extra special thank you to my patrons on Patreon who make this possible. Now here's the Tatsumaki character sheet.